Well, the Mercedes has been sitting here a couple weeks um, since I fixed the Suburban. I've been driving the Suburban every day just to get some miles on it. I think I've put about 1,300 miles on it since I rebuilt the transmission. And I'm, I was just trying to get as many miles as possible on it just to make sure there's no issues because we are going on a camping trip, pulling the camper, and I just wanted to make sure everything was good on the Suburban before... Uh, We'll be putting a couple hundred miles on the Suburban, pulling the camper. And I just wanted to make sure we didn't get a couple hundred miles away from home and something fail in it. So, like I said, just been driving it everywhere. So the Mercedes hasn't been driven. So let's see if it will start up. It actually had a low tire. This tire over here was a little low. I had to top it off. Uh, I think that's the one that's got a little bad spot on the inside that we need to swap it out. Like I said, it's been sitting here a few weeks. It hasn't been started. Oh, the glow plug. Oh, I couldn't see it. It was on. Fired up and died. There it goes. Start up easy. They're gonna need some fuel. But I'm gonna move it out of the way right now because I need to get the suburban hooked up. And I'll drive it to work tomorrow. Oh, the AC is already getting cold. That's nice. So let's. Uh, I've missed driving this thing. The brakes are still good. I do like the Suburban though, it's extremely comfortable. Uh, seats, or at least this driver's side seats, not very comfortable in the Mercedes. I did check the fluids on it too. It's maybe an eighth the port down on oil from full, but it's, it's about due for an oil change. We're gonna leave it for now. Let it run for a minute. Yeah, and that's uh, since I fixed the turbo, since I rebuilt the turbo, and of course I did some uh, uh, the turbo drain tube and uh, valve cover gasket. Since I've done all that, that eighth of a quart and roughly 3,000 miles is all that it's down. Um, so that's pretty good, not having to add any in 3,000 miles. And I'm guessing on the mileage, uh, like I said, uh, it's about due for an oil change. So uh, just a quick estimate of how much I've been driving it. Put it about 3,000, maybe 3,500. So not bad. Uh, I don't think it burns any, it leaks just a little bit. Uh, it'll leave a drip on the driveway every once in a while. It looks like probably the rear main seal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get diesel in the morning. It started pouring down rain last night, and I should have hooked up the camper yesterday before it started raining. Because now um, we're going to have to turn the turn it around in the pasture with it wet. So I don't know if I attempt it with the suburban or if I go get the bobcat. The problem with the bobcat is you can't see see around it. You know, you got no mirrors, so. Uh, I can see in the Suburban. Uh, I don't know if we'll attempt it and if we get stuck, we get stuck. Or if we uh, if we get stuck, you know, we pull it out 
or if we try with the bobcat. I don't know. I might walk out there and see. So. Yeah, and it, it shuts off like that all the time. The uh, shut off uh, valve on the injection pump, I think, leaks a little bit. So it takes a little while to build up vacuum to shut it off, but it hasn't gotten any worse, so I'm not going to mess with it. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more.